Holly and Fiona. The Ghost Car Good morning. <laughs> Help! Oh, Harry, that wasn't funny in the least. <laughs> well, I thought it was incredibly funny. Uh, you are hopeless. Imagine if I had scared you like that. I bet you wouldn't have laughed then. I'm too tough to get scared. Wheelie, hey, I, I was only kidding. Wheelie! Bah! Good work today, Digsy, but now it's time to go home. You go. I'm going to put up some barriers here first, so that no one accidentally falls into the hole. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, let's see now. Yeah, it's supposed to be foggy and a full moon tonight. Perhaps a few of us should get together and tell each other ghost stories. We have to take advantage of the spooky weather. <laughs> wow, that's like such a great idea. I love ghost stories. I know a whole bunch of them. Good. I'll ask Calamity Crow and Tracy Truck. Why don't you ask someone as well? Hmm, I know exactly who needs a good scare. Harry, <laughs> he's always pretending to be so tough. <laughs> See you a bit later. Bye-bye. There you go, Benny. This is the last flower sack. Now they've all been delivered! Thanks, Crow. It's very nice of you to help out. Now I've got enough flour to last me for weeks. If you come here tomorrow, I'll treat you to a bun. Oh, I'd love to! After I drop off this sack, I'm going to Tommy's to listen to ghost stories. Do you want to come? Ghost stories? <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Ghosts don't exist. I'd never do something so silly. I have to get up early and set the dough to rise. And if I don't get a quiet evening, I'll get a bad night's sleep. My paint just crawls. Ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Good night, Benny. Yeah, night night. Hello, here we are. Hi there, guys. Is everyone here? Hiya. Now everyone's here, let's start. Come a little closer, so you don't miss anything. Now I'm gonna tell you the story of the Bloodthirsty Baron. Once upon a time, a little town lived in fear. And to this day, you can hear the growling ghost of the Baron as he drags himself along the streets in his rattling chains, looking for new victims during dark, foggy nights, just like this one. <laughs> How are you, Harry? You're not scared, are you? <laughs> As if I would get scared because of some old ghost story. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I know I'm good at telling ghost stories. And Grandpa told his ghost stories so well in his day that he frightened the paint off himself. It's true. Every last bit of it. He needed a total repaint. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, Harry. The paint is still there. Cool. <clears throat> I, I knew that. Thanks for the night, everyone. Now it's time to sleep. Thank you, Tommy. Good night. Good, Good night. night. The buns, my buns, must have burned them. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so exhausted. It'll be good to get into bed. Huh. What? What on earth is that? Uh, a ghost? Gah! Na 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 No baron as far as the eye can see. Na, na, na. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Emergency services. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Over and out. Listen up. Calamity oh. Crow has seen a... a ghost going around town. <laughs> a ghost? Surely no one's afraid of ghosts. Unbelievable. Oh! <laughs> I bet you never get scared, huh, Polly? Nah. It does sound strange, but Crow seemed very certain. Yeah, right, but a ghost? Emergency services? Yes? Really? Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay, over and out. Listen up. Apparently, Tracy Truck has also seen a ghost. I suppose it's best you two get going straight away and find out what's causing all this commotion. You're right, Alice Alarm. It's important that everyone feels safe in our city. Ready for a ghost hunt? Yes. Now, it's action time! Hello there, Calamity Crow. What's going on here, then? Uh, well, I mean, I saw a ghost! A real ghost! It went that way! How come you're so sure it was a ghost? I have never seen anything like it! It was white and foggy, and it moved in a strange way! Okay, let us look into it. You can go to bed now, Crow. Oh, thank you! Good luck! Look at this! What can it be? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's not snow. It looks like some kind of powder. Maybe ghost powder. <laughs> Hardly. But I still think we should follow the tracks and see where they lead us. You're right. Let's drive on. Did you get scared? Nah, why would I get scared? Ghosts don't exist. I know that, but as you're a girl, you might get scared anyway. You were more scared than anyone, and you're not even a girl. Girls don't get more scared just because they're girls. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Help! What? Eh, a ghost! Hmm. Here are lots of traces. It seems like our ghost has been here as well. Help! What was that? It sounds as if somebody needs help. Come on. Hi there. What's going on here, then? We saw a g ghost You as well? What did it look like? Oh, it was so terrifying! Exactly like in the story Tommy told us earlier. White with chains, and I'm pretty sure it growled as well. Okay. In which direction did the ghost go? That way, uh, towards town. I'm sure we'll catch that ghost before long. Yeah, it can be very far away. No need to worry. Go home and get some sleep. his revenge help what baron where am i what are you doing i think i'm about to wet myself is that you benny baker tommy what hi there what's going on here then <sighs> i'm not really sure i think benny is here to play a trick on me a trick how rude playing silly tricks is not something i do tommy tried to frighten the life out of me what is this entanglement? And what on earth am I doing here? <laughs> well, now I at least understand how that all fits together. Yes, Benny. You seem to have frightened the whole town. I have what? How utterly ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm here. Tommy must have kidnapped me. I think you must have driven in your sleep. We've been following you in your tracks for quite some time. And you're covered in flowers, so you look pretty spooky. Do I? 
<laughs> well, now I see you, Benny. Oh dear, oh dear. I haven't driven in my sleep since my wheels were small. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Benny. At least now we know what frightened everyone. <laughs> yeah, and we've scared ourselves with ghost stories all night. Yes, your imagination can really run away with you. I'm glad we managed to solve this. But now we'd better start heading back to the station. And I've got to get back to the bakery to set the dough to rise. Bye bye, bye then. then. Hi. How did it go? Did you see any ghosts? <laughs> yes, we did. But it was just Benny the Baker driving in his sleep. Apparently, they had been telling ghost stories at Tommy's earlier, so everybody was already frightened. Well, that Tommy has a knack for telling ghost stories. It's a relief. Everything is back to normal. Everyone in this city can now sleep safely. My heroes. The heroes of the city. The heroes of the ghosts. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I'm looking forward to having my breakfast first. Hmm. The hole. Huh. But hey, didn't I put up a barrier here? Or, uh, hmm. I'm telling you, so you can imagine how scared I got when I opened my eyes. Boo! Here comes Baron the Baker. <laughs> Ha 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 